Hi boys and girls, it's Mrs. Bates with today's math lesson for Module 5, Topic D. The learning goal for today is I can model teen numbers in different ways. You will need your whiteboard or dry erase marker. Don't worry if you don't have those because you know you can use a piece of paper and a pencil. And I'd like you to find 20 small counters. I looked in my sewing kit and found some buttons to use for today's uh, practice. All right, let's just count to 10, easy peasy. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. Now let's count our teen numbers. Let's count on from 10. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20. Very good. All right, oh, let's take a look at the ladybugs. I notice that there are a lot of ladybugs, probably more than 10. So I'm going to start counting the ladybugs. I'm going to at least count 10. Here we go. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And those ladybugs are scattered everywhere. So I'm going to put a circle around 10 ladybugs. Now, I know that in my circle I have 10 ladybugs, but how many extra ones do I have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Let's think of the say 10 way. 10, seven. What is 10, seven? Well, 10, 7 is 17. Now we could start with 10 because we know I've circled 10 and count on, count the extras. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. Great, I don't have to start with one because I know I've circled 10. Very good. Let's move on to the butterflies. Well, I noticed there's a lot of butterflies, more than 10. I'm going to count 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. I'm just going to put a circle around them because I know in my circle there are 10 butterflies. How many extra ones do we see? Well, we see four. That is right. So we have 10 in our circle and four extra ones. Look at that. What number is that, friends? 14. <clears throat> That's right. I can start with my 10 and count on too, right? I'm not going to count those butterflies in my circle. Again, I know there's 10, so I'm just going to start with the number 10 and count on. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Excellent. 14. Oh, look at those bees. Let's see. The ladybugs were all scattered, and, and that was um, <clears throat> kind of difficult for us to count, but we did it. And then uh, the butterflies, they were just flying in a row. Now look at these, these bumblebees. Looks like they're flying in a circle. Well, no problem. I think there's more than 10. I'm going to count 10 and see. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Well, there are more than 10, so I'm going to circle that 10 because I know in that circle there are 10. Very good. How many extras? Two. Hmm. Well, let's see. There's 10 in the circle and there's two extras. So what is 10 to? It is 12. Very good. Now, <clears throat> what number is this? It's a teen number, 16. Now let me show you, here's 16 butterflies. Now look how I organized those butterflies so it's easy for us to see 16 butterflies. Do you see 10 butterflies in the first group? That's right, there are 10. And then let's look at the next group here. We have five and one more, that's six. Now I showed you 16 by using the five group way, right? And they're in rows. So it's really easy to count. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, or 10, 6, 16. Great. Now let's take a look at these ladybugs. Oh, look it. I've organized the ladybugs. 
right? The five group way, except for instead of the ladybugs in rows, I now organize them in columns. Very good. So I have 10 ladybugs and then I have four more. 10, four. Awesome. 14. We did show 14. Very good. How about 19? Look at those bumblebees. They're just all over the place. Well, an easy way for us to count those bumblebees is to circle a group of 10. So I know in that circle there are 10. And I don't have to count them again. <clears throat> I counted them, drew a circle around them. So now let's see how many extra ones I have. Count with me. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I have nine extras. So 10, nine, that is 19. That's right. Let's count on from 10. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. Good job. Now let's show 13. Oh, I have a number bond. Let's see if we can break up the number 13. Well, let's see. Every teen number starts with 10. Very good. And how many extra ones do you think there are in 13? If you said three, you are right. Very good. I think it's Jack Hartman again, and he wants to practice teen numbers. Get up, let's move. Children's songs, sing and move along. Children's songs, make your brain and body strong. Hands together at front. is a one with a one. Twelve is a one with a two. Thirteen is a one with a three. Fourteen is a one with a four. Fifteen is a one with a five. Sixteen is a one with a six. 17 is a 1 with a 7 18 is a 1 with an 8 19 is a 1 with a 9 Let's do it all together Exercise is fun Teens always have two numbers And the first number is 1 11 is a 1 with a 1 12 is a 1 with a 2 13 is a 1 with a 3 14 is a 1 with a 4 15 is a 1 with a 5 16 is a 1 with a 6 17 is a 1 with a 7 18 is a 1 with an 8 19 is a 1 with a 9 Team Numbers! We did it! Before we practice modeling team numbers, let's say them the 10 way. You ready? 10, 1. That is 11, 10, 2, 12, 10, 3, 13, 10, 4, 14, 10, 5, 15, 10, 6, 16, 10, 7, 17, 10, 
8, 18, 10, 9, 19. And we need to remember that our teen numbers start with a group of 10. Now, in the video, I showed you different ways we could model teen numbers. I thought I would use my button box to help us practice. Now, I just have a bunch of buttons in here, and all you need is about 20 um, counters of any kind. Small ones like these buttons would do. So I'm going to, I'm going to show you and then you can do it when you get a chance later, okay? So I'm just going to grab a handful of my buttons and I'm going to put it here. Now one way we can model is we can organize it like this. So I can make a column of five, right? And then I'm going to make another, oh yes, do you see? There's the 10 um, buttons in the five group way. It's just that I've organized them in columns instead of rows. And now let's see, here I have three more. So I have 10 Three. Do you know how many buttons I have all together? Well, I have 13. 10 and 3, that's 13. Now, we could count on 10, 11, 12, 13, but because I organized my buttons, it was so easy. 13, very good. Let's try another one. So I'm just gonna put my buttons back in my container here. And I'm gonna take another handful. All right, this time I'm going to model the team number by Showing the first 10, the five group way, right? So now I'm making rows. Good. So there's 10. Now I'm going to organize the rest in the five group way as well. Well, I have a group of five, don't I? And then I have some here. Good, now let's see, I have my group of 10 and let me see how many more I have. Well, I have five. I know that's five because I organized it in the five group way. Five, six, seven, eight. So I have 10, eight. Do you know how many buttons I have? I have 18. Now we could start with the number 10 because we know there's 10 there. We've worked so hard um, on the number 10. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. 10, 8 is 18. Oh my goodness. Now, this time, I'm just going to scatter my buttons. There's my buttons. Now, they're all scattered around. And this is my plan. I'm gonna count 10. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. circle around it if you wanted to if you're using your dry erase board or a piece of paper so there's 10 
Now here's my extra ones. Let's count the extra ones. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Do you know what 10, seven is? 10, seven is 17. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. Good job. Now, it's very important when you're counting to make sure you tap or count each, in my case, buttons, right? Okay. Good job. We did a great job modeling different ways to show teen numbers. Most importantly, we have to remember that teen numbers have a group of 10. You're right. Good job, boys and girls.